So just take a bunch of uh, hairs, remove the very tips because they are the coarsest and remove the softest one. You can keep this for dubbing later for some other flies. Uh, hello everyone, right now I'm going to tie a simple snowshoe mayfly and as every snowshoe fly and this one is also designed to be very buoyant and to be used in, in rough waters or if you use white snowshoe you can use it uh, like almost into the dark. So I'll start with my thread which is GSP. I like it because I can cinch down on my on, on my fly and uh, for the tail I'll use Coctelion because it's perfect for this application it's stiff you don't need to use too much but actually you'll use more than usual amount uh, because you need extra buoyancy and uh, Coctelion will support your fly so attach your uh, 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 tail sorry attach it and then just go all the way back to the rear end of the hook now you can just go a little bit into the bend and later it will go under it or you can do it now so you will actually fan out those tails now you can create an under body to taper everything prior to tying and that's what I'm going to do right now so just a couple of wraps back and forth until you get this desired underbody here. So before I continue, like I just need to tell you, like previously I tied a couple of flies and these are leftovers, so let me show you how to reuse this material. It's not super fine, but it's not coarse as well. So just attach it to your thread, make sure it's like going around the thread, use as little as possible and as you advance down the tapping noodle you should use less and less material so your noodle will be tapered as well uh, when you have enough or almost enough just go towards the rear end of the hook and cover the body as you can see everything is nicely tapered already and this will actually be even more nice when I go back with my thread which I will use for ribbing. Now you can see that this dubbing noodle is very thin and this below it it's even thinner and this is for the tail part and right now I'm finishing to fly maybe I can use everything maybe yeah okay now go with the thread rib everything you'll get these segments but then they are not so important okay now to attach wings because this is relatively large size 12 mayfly I'm not going to use these short hairs here I'm going to use these hairs from here so middle portion of the middle portion of, of the foot for the largest of flies I will use those hairs that are at the tips between fingers and well not fingers toes actually but for this fly I, I just don't need to do that so after you remove all the under fur and all the not all but most of the hairs guard hairs you can just apply those wings like so decide how long you want them and on, in this on this fly just for the sake of tying, I'm not going to tie it as same as the previous fly, I'm just going to tie it regular way as you would tie maybe CVC or something like that. So after a couple of wraps and when you secure it you can see it's not moving, you can proceed and cut out the excess part and use those buttons to cinch this even more to secure everything down. And now it's time to see if everything is positioned properly, as you can see it is. Now, I will use a little bit of squirrel dubbing for the thorax. 
and you can dub it a little bit scruffier because you want those legs to be a little bit pronounced and actually those guard hairs will uh, support your fly a little bit better it will help the snowshoe to stand better on the water so go behind in order to position those wings up check if they're if, if they if they're going to lay down if they are laying down just add one more wrap and then when you're satisfied just continue wrapping towards the front now you can add some legs maybe some soft hackle if you like not necessary because that's extra step it will add movement though but it's not necessary as i said because you're using this in very very rough water i hope so it's not important to have everything done perfectly so you should well finish once or twice it's up to you I like to do it twice and then cut everything off if you are bothered bothered with this white hat you can just use any permanent marker and uh, just color it just scruff out those legs and now you will see has those legs it will have perfect footprint and this is it finished may fly in just a couple of minutes it's very easy very durable when you're applying floatant rub it into this don't use too much but rub it thoroughly throughout the wings and then just you can do it this way so you can shape up the wing a little bit and now you can see from downside how it looks like when you cast this slide the wind will actually blow this way and it will position those wings in a perfect way like so so guys thank you very much for watching i hope you like this video if you did li like it subscribe you can comment you can suggest whatever you like and maybe you can critic criticize me that's the way how i can improve so thank you very much again and see you next time